I'm gonna make a really quick video because I'm super busy today and I've been running around like hell so I'm very sorry if this is really disorganized and quick but I really have been having the most hectic week ever because I start school next week and I have all these assignments being thrown at me so here I go this week's topic is the pressure to pass uh, I could definitely relate to this topic about two and a half years ago back in like 2012 ish around that time frame um, I first came out as trans like a small group of friends of mine and I was living down south I had a few um, friends who were trans and they were just like me female to male and we would go out together in public kind of as guys nights and all that and I remember that my voice was very high and squeaky and I was being perceived as a female or a lesbian while my um, trans friends were passing 100% because they've been in hormones for years now. And I just remember feeling so embarrassed and ashamed. And oh, those days were horrible because I, I wanted to be cool and fit in with them. And I just remember specifically going out and waiters and waitresses saying yes, ma'am, and she to me. And I was just so beyond mortified because of it and I felt this extreme pressure to pass because they were with me and I just felt like uh, I remember those days I was so embarrassed there was other certain times that I felt pressure to pass because I was either um, with my ex at the time and I just wanted us to be perceived as um, boyfriend and girlfriend and you know I would get the yes ma'am she'd still even when I thought I was passing so that was pretty rough the pressure to pass really 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 bites I remember first coming out as trans when my voice was pretty squeaky and high and my face was a lot more feminine than it is now and I didn't have any facial hair or anything that I would go on tumblr and I would see all these guys with scars across their chest because it was before I had surgery and just being extremely hard on myself for not passing and looking feminine. I can recall a lot of self-loathing because of that and it was a pretty pretty difficult rough time for me. I think what I really reminded myself over and over and over and over and over again was that everybody's journey is each to their own. There's gonna be a time when you don't pass like I didn't. I remember that it took about two months probably two months of being on hormones for me to pass and probably about two and a half months for me to pass like a hundred percent as as male a hundred percent it was a pretty crappy time I put all this unnecessary pressure on myself to pass and it just stressed me out a lot more I feel like something that you always need to remind yourself if you're before hormones or just even if you're a dude that doesn't want to go on hormones or have surgery, which is completely fine, there's no guidelines on how to be trans and there's no wrong or right way to do it. Just one thing not to do is to feel envy. Envy is just really going to mess you up. Trust me. I can remember just sitting in my room and looking on Tumblr and looking online and seeing all these trans guys and just hating myself and being hard on myself. Every person's journey is each to their own. Your time will come, I promise you that. There's a lot of pressure, I guess, out there in the trans community to pass that's really kind of unspoken of. I think the reason why, because most of the big trans guys on the internet always 99.99% .99 of the time pass as male out in public. And it sucks because it gives other guys hope but I remember it discouraging me because I felt like my time was never going to come. Everybody's time comes even if you are on hormones or if you're not on hormones. It gets easier. It sucks at first, but trust my words, it, it gets a lot easier. Passing is not something that happens right away. Like I said, it took me about two and a half months for me to completely pass. I remember specifically having to go through my wardrobe and limiting down my um, outfits on jeans that would hide my curves and shirts that would kind of take away any curvature going on. 
passing is not something that just happens overnight. You have to kind of work with it. Hormones don't just take effect right away. It takes several weeks for your voice to even start to drop, and it depends on who you are. Just one piece of advice, please don't be hard on yourself if you don't pass right away, please. I was so unrealistically hard on myself for not passing, and it just led to a lot of stress. Just to each their own. That's really all I have to say for this video. Please, 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 please don't be hard on yourself for not passing.